Hello everyone, welcome to Flick Studios, today I will teach you, how you can make these amazing dual tone posters in Adobe Photoshop. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. Open the image in Photoshop, and create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Adjust the brightness and contrast in such a manner that the height lights and shadows are crushed. Now take the object selection tool, and create a selection around the subject. Create a mask, by clicking the layer mask button. Now create a white solid adjustment layer for the background. Select all the three layer by holding shift key on the keyboard, then click the right mouse button and select merge layers. Now to create the dual tone effect, create a gradient map, and choose the colors of the gradient map according to your liking. I am choosing blue for shadows and green for highlights. This poster really reminds me of Spotify, so let's add the logo to make it look cool. I will also add a headphone to give it more vibe. Import the image of headphone and rasterize the layer, now erase the background by using the magic eraser tool. Resize the headphone according to subject and place the headphone layer below the gradient map layer. Let me make some final adjustment to make this composition look more real. Now let's jump to the next poster. Import your image into Photoshop, and adjust its size and positioning according to your need. Now create a brightness and contrast layer just like the previous poster. Adjust its setting according to your image. Once satisfied with image create a black and white adjustment layer. Adjust its setting in such a way that it increases contrast in the overall image. Now merge the three layers. For this poster we will use a different technique, we will make two different solid layers, one for highlights and one for shadows. I am creating a blue solid layer for shadows. Let's change its blending mode to lighten so that it affects the shadows. Now let's create another solid layer for the highlights, I am maintaining the color scheme of previous poster, so I will use green for the highlights. Let's change its blending mode to overlay, so that it affects the highlight only. I will also adjust the opacity of the solid layers to get a better vibe. I will fill up the white area by making a copy of the background and stretching it. Now I will add some text and other detailing so that it looks like a fashion magazine cover.
Thanks for watching. If you like the video please do not forget to like and subscribe the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram.